This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. In this video, I want to give you a little worksheet that you can work through that will plan out your app and all the things that you will do to maximize App Store engagement signals. And when you maximize them, what is going to happen is App Stores are going to think that your app is better, going to rank you higher. So these are the four things I'd like you to fill out, how you're going to get more reviews and how you're going to maximize good reviews how you're gonna maximize number of sessions per user, the average session length, and how you're going to decrease installs. I'm gonna show you an example of how I filled out this worksheet for my own app to give you ideas. So you see, I, have done, I did a lot of things. I'm not gonna go over too many of them because they're common and I covered these in other parts of the course, but essentially I'll quickly just try to really go quickly through it. I, I Instead of just having a review asking pop up, I only ask for reviews in places that are specific where I know that they're super, like they're super users or they're really engaged and they're really enjoying the app or if they're using the app for a long time. And quality is a consistent, it's a theme. I really work on quality improvement as much as possible. It's never done, but the more you can improve quality and usability, the better, the more people will enjoy it, the more, the better reviews they'll leave. It's very natural. And if you have a choice of like doing some outside promotion or spending time improving the app, I'd actually lean towards improving the app quality because that relate directly correlates to consistently from now on getting reviews, fixing bugs is a part of that, giving away more free things monetizing less aggressively. Of course, you, I know you hate that because you wanna monetize more aggressively, but the more you monetize aggressively, the, the lower average reviews you'll get, and that lower average reviews you'll get, the less downloads you'll get. So actually you wanna lean towards non-aggressive monetization when possible, and so that you give yourself potentials for downloads, and then when you have a great potential for downloads, then you monetize. Of course, if you also build an audience, it's important to understand that people who already know you like your YouTube followers, Instagram followers, Facebook followers, if they get your app, they are much more likely to give your app a good review because they already know your work, they're familiar, they like you, they, they got the app because they already know you, they like you, so they're very likely to leave good reviews. And these are real natural reviews. Of course, sessions per user, quality, notifications, new content, social interactions, and then in notifications that social interactions happen. Again, app quality will increase, set, like sessions per user, and of course, if you align your app to long-term use, for example, like instead of something that's short-term and then people don't use your app, think of what long-term behaviors your app can fit into so that people can use your app for a long time, put it on their home screens, open it all the time. And those are the, also the people who will buy your in-app purchases and stuff like that. Also, how to increase your session lengths. What I did was I added more tutorials. I made more clear onboarding and navigation. Those very same things help you decrease your uninstalls. Of course, also one thing that it helps to decrease uninstalls is collecting less information upfront because the less information I collected and the, the faster I brought value to people, the, the more they kept the app, they saw the value, they started using it. The more, inf the more forms I made them fill out, the more they got annoyed and just deleted it. Look through all of these and think about them and see how you can use them in your case. In my case, I used a lot of these with success, but there's a lot of these and I didn't wanna make the video too long. I have it here in the worksheet, I filled it out. You have the empty worksheet. Now your job is to add as many of these and then additional ones that you can come up with for your own worksheet so that when you do create the app, the app is very well positioned from the beginning to reach maximum potential and have the most ideal app store signals and be positioned for most success from the very beginning. 